Let's talk about another um, NWA member. Uh, well, world class record member who ended up being an NWA member just released a book talking about DJ Yella. Apparently, the book is really good. I have it coming myself. Should be here. It's probably outside right now as we speak. Um, but one thing that I wanted to talk about that seemed to get a lot of press this week was DJ Yella reveals that he was homeless for three years following the success of NWA. Um, first of all, did you know about that? And secondly, how is it that, you know, someone who sold millions of records, one of the su most successful groups, not just in hip hop, but in, in music period, you know, how does someone become, you know, broke at the end of the day? Well, you gotta know Yella. <laughs> That's mm. my dude, okay? I love them all. But Yella like cars. Mm. Yella um, said it there was, it is. In, in, I think in a, maybe a three or four year period, he bought like 55 new cars, the fuck? 55. That, okay, that, there it is. <laughs> okay. Yellow was buying boats. Yellow was buying jet skis. Yellow had a, a, a $80,000 go-kart. I call it a go-kart. Everything that depreciates. Nothing that appreciates. Everything that depreciates. It was actually a sand rail. He had an $80,000 sand rail with a bent engine in it, okay? Damn. And um, he liked toys. Mm. He liked toys. Okay, and um, I think he, I think he, I'm, I'm gonna put his business in the street. It's in the book. I think he mm -hmm. might have had also had a bad marriage and some tax issues, and don't take long after that. Yeah, you know what? Um, ex explain in general how new artists, especially groups, are paid and why the first contracts are pretty much guaranteed to screw you. Oh, because that, first of all, the first contract any record deal. It's going to the artist. It's like anything else. The first, your first going to the house. Your first success is going to the house. Because you might be a one, a, a one album artist. There are a lot of artists out there who don't have two or three albums in them, so they get all their money out your ass up front. Okay, mm. they give you some money. And back in the day, when they when you first uh, dropped your stuff, the the one thing the, art, the companies had to do was build you up as an artist, which gave you a certain amount of fame. So even if you don't have another album, you can still ride that one song forever. Okay? And this is where mm. people understand where the the, 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 um, the fame comes in at. Okay? When you have the success of, uh, I don't know, of a Tone Low. Tone Low can still gig today, no problem. Okay? You can still, Coolio, still gig today. Mm. Gangster's Paradise, big song. Okay, Sugar Hill Gang still gig today. Wrecking Crew still get calls. I haven't taken, I haven't taken, no, I haven't got no calls lately, but I still can go gig. So once you have that, once you've been elevated to a certain level, it just you know everything else becomes you know that's that's money at that time that the record companies could not get is your gig money. You know your gig, your show money was your show money, and they knew that, so they figured they keeping the record most of the record money. You keep the show money. That was the mental attitude. You keep the record. I'm gonna keep the record money. I'm gonna give you some, but I'm gonna charge you for everything associated with this record. And that's the crazy part because when you see, when you understand the, the, the game, they loan you some money to make a project for their company, and their company owns the project, but they making you pay for everything that goes into that project to make that project successful. All the promotion and marketing goes to come out of your pocket. But why am I paying to market something that you, you, if, if I have been in ketchup and you own the ketchup, why am I, pay, why am I paying for the commercials? Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have, think about that. If you make a, if, if you invented something and sell it to the kind of company owns it, it's up to them to market and promote it. Record company ain't mm -hmm. like that. No, 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 no. Because you get 10% of the profits, I'm making you paying 100% of the expenses. Crazy, man. You walk into a deal owning everything. You walk out owning 10% and 100% of all expenses related to this project. 